Hello, I am at Simply Francine's Boutique and um, looking at all the beautiful things she has in her, her boutique. Beautiful, beautiful. But that's not why I'm here actually right now. I'm here to interview a young man, a black, prominent, uh, future artist and future author. author. And he happens to live in Baltimore, right? But he's out here visiting for the holidays, which is always nice. But I love to get the brain to see where our young people, our young men, what they're thinking about. And this young man, in talking to him, has a rich future ahead. He even talks about, you know, the choices he's making to stay alive and to stay hopeful. And I'm right there with him. I love that. That is just inspiring. And so I hope this episode of this video help and inspire you to inspire another young person to, um, to do their best and be the best that they can be in a positive way. So let's get right down to it. So, I thought I could flip it. I can't flip it. So I have with me this e afternoon. Hello. Bruce. Matthew. Matthew. Let's go over here so you won't see the, the mannequin. <laughs> Indeed. We, were, we don't want that mannequin to take the show. Yeah, okay. It will. So, Bruce. Yes. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Just a little bit. Well, I'm originally from Newport News, Virginia. I have a publishing company, Sixth Century Publishing. Be yes. on the lookout for that. All right. We have new novels coming out at the top of the year january marital bliss be on and look out for that yes and also cash is king mm. is coming out which will be a series a two-part series um the second one will be connected to cash look for that in the springtime and it's a lot a lot of blessings coming we have a lot of that sounds great a lot of big things in the works right We're now. We're glad to hear about the blessings, you all, because just yesterday, right? Yes. A young man indeed. was shot and killed after a basketball game at Mitchville High. And with, so. and with that being said, I, um, I'm going to do a campaign for that. And it's for all the high school youth, seven cities, and I'm campaigning. The theme is... Pick up a pistol. Pick up a pencil instead of a pistol. Amen. And I have the artwork being done for that, and I have the notebooks being made up. Hopefully, we will see those in the next two weeks. In two weeks, we will be able to see those. So that's great. We're looking for that. Definitely, I want to promote um, just positivity with not only the parents but the peers of our children who are not necessarily in negative or violent situations, but they're put into them. They're at a basketball game where mm -hmm. you could just be out enjoying yourself and things like that happen. So we're definitely trying to push the positive narrative. We don't want to yes. be, we want to be optimistic to a future for our kids. We don't want them to be tore down by the system where that's right. Their families are broken by gun violence, and then it's a repeated cycle of revenge and a revolving door back to penitentiaries and prisons. That's you want right. to break that cycle and stop it. That's right. Break it. That's right. We need you hear him. Do you, are y'all listening to this young man, Bruce? Yes. You better listen. You better listen. So, Bruce, I want to ask you a few questions. Um, you said you were father, right? Yes, ma'am. So tell me how how is it? Um, what are some of the challenges of being a young father? A young well, I think being a young father comes. You still want to be able to enjoy your life, and even though you do make a conscious decision to have children, you have to separate the situation where it's being a father or fun fun or father mm -hmm. you can be a fun father but you have to <laughs> find like the, that one. The, the separation in you. you can't say i'm gonna be a father but i always want to have fun like 
if you do, then do it with your kids. And a lot of That's dads these days, us us as young black fathers, we don't get the credit of being their devoted dads or we're not full-time fathers. So it's like, I don't believe in being a part-time parent. If you have a kid, that's your responsibility. They didn't ask to be here. And it's up to us to instill that they have morals and they're raised the right way. So yes, it's, it's, it's challenging at times because having a child and still being young, you want to be Do some young, young things, but yeah. sometimes you gotta, you know, grab those bootstraps and get it out the mud. Mm-hmm. That's just what you gotta do. So that's great. But look, check this out. Are there any peer pressure with that? Peer, Is there a lot of peer uh, pressure with being a young black father there is yes because i'll give a perfect example me i used to be in a position where like when it came to having financial freedom that's gonna be not taken away but toned down to an extent now and then in order to do that you don't want to compromise your morals or sacrifice what you have because of money. A lot of us as men say, or it's in our mental that we have to make the money. So we make bad decisions as far as dealing drugs and going out and being on the streets and being in the streets involved with things that technically it'll take you away from your kids. So Mm -hmm. you're not being a man by being in the streets because that's going to take you away from your kid. You're going to get sentenced to however many years and something, and then who's going to make the money then? So the main focus is to try to find something for the future or something to invest in where you're not going to be taken away from your kids or your kids won't be taken away from you because, you know, you, you got parents who get put in put on paper cps and stuff now your kids are being taken from you you don't Mm -hmm. have to be taken from your kids they're getting taken from you so Mm. you don't want to put yourself in that position and i think the best way to do that is try to build a bond with the kids so that you know this is what you're fighting for like this is what i plan on doing for your future i'm not just here to be your buddy and you Mm -hmm. know take you out and parade you around the city or nothing. I'm here to secure your future. Oh, man. Listen to that. This is a young man. How old are you, Bruce? 35 young. 35 young. 35 years, years young. old you are. Are you listening to this wisdom? Yes. And um, it's not just... It's a lot of light-minded, excuse my French, light-minded men out here. And I think if we all come together and make this our mission then is is it takes away the pressure of you know putting it on the next person because a lot of us especially as young like you said young parents are we blaming it on the schools or we're blaming it on the entertainment and the music but it really starts at home so all right you can't say well, the school should have let us know or the school should have did. Yeah, the school can only do what the school can do. But your kid has to come home. This is where they live and reside at. So you can't put the school in a position where they're saying, first of all, the school didn't know nothing about your son and that other little boy getting into a fight at in your neighborhood. It That's starts right. in your village where you, it, sometimes what my grandfather used to say, it takes a village. Mm-hmm. Therese, yeah. The school don't know nothing it's about what y'all had going on in the neighborhood last week or whatever the case may be. But this is where we put all of our pennies into the perpetrators. Like, oh, yeah, they right. did it. It's yeah, we do play the na- a blame game a lot. Yeah, and it's like, listen to them. One finger pointing at them is three pointing back at you. And you're yes. like, oh, I didn't know nothing about it, but it happened in your home. That's where a lot of these things go down. Teen pregnancies and all of these mm. uh, the domestic disputes. You're taking all my things. questions away now. Oh, you're look, dipping. I didn't He's dipping off. into my questions now, okay? I ran off with <laughs> 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 But yeah, that's definitely, you know. That's something to look into, and we have to invest in our future. The kids are our future, so if you plan on being or having any type of future, that's where you have to invest your time and energy into. 
Oh man. Well, we're running out of time. He didn't answer everything, every question I had. He was not that. Did was he in my mind? I was. But I... anyway, Bruce. We appreciate you. Yes, it's been a We blessing. hope you come back on our station again. We had Simply Friends Scenes shooting live at 3.15 on a Wednesday, December right. the 15th. And I just realized something in the back, that ambition. I didn't even notice that. We got ambition yes. in the background. Ambition in the background. What it says, though? It says. Come on, let's go and check it out. Read what amb nice. Ambition. Ambition is a strong desire to do or to achieve something, typically requiring determination and hard work. We were just that's talking right. About that's that. what we were talking yeah. about. So we are on the one, aren't we? Yes, that with this conversation. <laughs> and I'm just thanking y'all for joining in. That was Bruce Young, 35 year old, giving us all that wisdom here at Simply Francine's. On that note, please come out. We're at. Uh, on Jefferson Avenue in the Francisco Shopping Center, um, you'll see the grand opening sign. And we have she has so many beautiful things. Come on, get here by Christmas. Come on by Christmas. Look at all of these wonderful things. All oh, her items are one of a kind. You cannot beat these prices. I mean, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, your coworkers, if you have some. Because I know you probably need a few. But tell everybody about Francine, simply Francine. And I mean, these colors, she has things that you would not believe. And God is so good. I mean, this is a God sent that I'm here. I'm happy to be here. And I'm enjoying my, my working days. Francine, simply Francine. T-shirts. And you see my mask? My mask came from simply Francine. Look. Out here being cute. Come on now. <laughs> Out here being cute. Ain't that something? And you know I'm doing it, right? But anyway, thank you for joining us. Blessings. Toodles.